tell us about Bing and how you found it. We, we know they spruced themselves up. Yeah, so Bing has really tried to revamp itself here. And what they're doing that's different is they're bringing in your Facebook friends and uh, creating a way for you to ask people for answers to your questions. So if I type a question in about uh, Napa Valley restaurants, I can immediately see people who might be able to answer that question or help me out with some restaurant suggestions. And this is using Bing's algorithm to find friends who may have grown up in Napa Valley or maybe they posted a photo album from Napa Valley or something that's relevant. And it will surface their names so that I choose them to be included in the post that I'm going to send out. It's kind of like with you, when you're talking to people in real life, you know, you might pick up the phone and call five friends that you know who have something to do with Napa Valley in this particular example. But you don't have to do that now. You're doing it all digitally and using this Bing search engine. Now, that's the theory anyway, right? That's the theory. Yes. But there's some big <laughs> challenges here, aren't there? Because it's Bing. Yeah, well, it's a problem because not everybody is used to searching like this. For me, I really do a lot of my searching alone. I'm used to typing questions in and getting answers and moving on with my day. So this really will have to change the way people behave when they do their web searching. And I'm not sure that's necessarily something people are really ready to do. Uh, I think the real uh, exciting part of this is when you get an answer or a person pops up who you didn't know had any expertise in a particular subject. It's sort of like magic and you feel like, wow, how did Bing know that this person had this expertise and, and I can ask them a question. So those moments are, are might keep people coming back and using this. Okay, now you talk about the, the, the partners they have, um, LinkedIn, Foursquare and Quora. Um, did, did, did that, do you think that is additive? Do you think that helps? Yes, I think those will help and those mm. partners will uh, be joined in this summer. Um, some of them, not all of them. Uh, right now they have a partnership with Twitter and so you can, if I typed Napa Valley into my question, I could see three bloggers or three people on Twitter who review restaurants in Napa and I could ask them questions directly from this uh, sidebar. So I think that's a nice idea. Instead of relying on your friends only, it can bring in some other sources from the web who might know more. So uh, with, with this, I mean, Bing, Bing isn't the most popular search engine by, by a long so shot. Based on your experience, do you think people are going to catch on to this in, in maybe the way that people caught on to Google, Google Mail, Gmail? Yeah, you know, I think Google didn't make many people happy when it pulled personal results from Google Plus into its search results. A lot of people were not happy with that. So this seems like a smarter way of integrating search. And just anecdotally, Simon, I've been using Bing for the last year for all of my searching. And in very few cases, I have problems finding something I want. But I mean, it's just fine for me. I haven't had any trouble. I haven't thought, oh, I miss Google so much. I have to go back to searching on it. I use it all the time. 